Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We all know that engine development has been Achilles heel of Indian aviation sector. Reason is simple. We have not invested enough and government has not prioritized the development of engines as import always seems to be an easy option. The present day problems in Indian defense manufacturing sector are the byproduct of Indian government policies in the past. Anyways, coming back to present. The Minister of State for Defense, Ajay Bhatt, had said that indigenous capability exists with DRDO and industry for design, development and manufacturing of 80 kN combat jet engine. Collaboration with a foreign house is being expected for co-development and co-production of higher class thirst engines for AMCA. The cost including the transfer of technology for the manufacturing of jet engines can be known after further progress. The engine which is being referred is the indigenous Kaveri engine developed by GTRE of DRDO. These kind of generic statement have been making news either by defense secretary or by defense minister or by DRDO chief for more than a year now. Talking about Kaveri engine, in past the engine had several problems which has been resolved completely and few of them needs to be flight tested at higher altitudes. One of the major issues with Kaveri engine was the flutter of fan blades. Flutter was related to all the blades used in the engine. Various methods have been deployed by GTRE to successfully resolve the flutter issue. Other issues with Kaveri engine were related to fan. HP compressor, LP turbine combustor and afterburner and screech issue which has also been resolved. While Kaveri engine has met its dry thrust requirement, it is yet to prove its weight thrust. GTRE has planned the performance and operability of Kaveri engine across the flight envelope in altitude test facility in 2022. The initial flight release IFR certification of the engine is planned to be complete by 2024. However, the Russia-Ukraine war seems to be derailing this plan again due to India's dependence on Russia for the flying test bed for Kaveri engine. Indian government needs to spend at least a billion dollar every year in order to master engine development technology. Once the dry Kaveri engine is certified, GTRE may begin the work on upgraded jet engine with new afterburner section. In 2020, GTRE started the testing of afterburner. If successful, this new engine will be able to generate thrust enough to meet the power requirements of Tejas and around close to 90 kN. At the same time, the French aircraft engine manufacturer Safran has submitted a proposal to the Indian government to co-develop with DRDO's GTRE a new state-of-art 110kN thrust engine for India's futuristic AMCA twin-engine fighter jet program. The Safran deal includes a performance guarantee and transfer of all necessary technology for design, advancement, production and support in addition to building a solid industrial aero engine environment in the country. Now, if the code development process is all cleared this year, Safran is confident that the new 110 kN class engine could be certified by 2035. As per Safran, the code development of new 110 kN class engine will cost in total 5 to 6 billion euros. The engine created for AMCA will probably have many similarities with the propulsion system of the upcoming 6th generation FCAS fighter jet program in Europe for which Safran is the part of multi-project leader which includes Spain, France and Germany. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.